Welcome to another Brett Plays video. Today I am taking out a glider, as you can see I have in front of me. And I've just given this my first go and so far I'm quite impressed. So I will do a, a review and a flight. I'm just going to find the file here as well. Now we'll have a quick look around. Obviously it is leaning down. You know, I've only got the center wheel like a real glider, which I guess is what this is based on and the rear wheel there very cool now i have seen people fly this and i thought okay um i'm not into gliders but i'll give it a go uh so let's have a look inside you actually have a body not only that if you look all the way around you've got the face right there so your point of view is right in front of the guy's face uh we do need to turn on our master batteries and systems. I like how it's got on the map. It's actually got the glider. Uh, that is the way I'm facing too. Okay, cool. Now, I did notice that... Uh, oh, you know, I didn't turn the strobe lights on last time. Is it on or off? The light on. Does that mean it's on? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's on. Flashing here on the tail. Very cool, okay. We do have an engine. I'm gonna love this. I didn't know what the deal was. I thought I'm gonna have to uh, get a tow out uh, with another um, aircraft because I did notice that um, you can actually uh, connect to uh, other aircraft via the cloud assist which is a free app uh, but not a hundred percent necessary on this one Let's see if i can find the file and read this to you uh, not there i'll add it to the description later now we can change our ballast around uh, outer inner and tail i'm not going to touch anything there because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, D1, zoom, D3, D4. Okay. And we're going to scroll south, west. Okay, pretty cool. Um, all right, compass selector. All right, look at that. You can actually change. Hang on, how do I go back? Not touch screen, so go down. Oh, yep, down, return. Somebody's uh, done some work on this, haven't they? There you go, change that as well. Now, I'm going to extract the motor. So, out of these solar panels on the back, it splits open and out comes a motor. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to turn it on as well. I think so. We'll find out in a second. I'm still trying to work out how to do this. I did it accidentally the last time. Maybe let's turn on engine first and then extract. Retract. Extend. There we go. Turn on engine first, extract. How cool is that? And then we can actually take off. So, uh, I believe it would be an electric engine. I don't know about this, but you can see my shadow on the uh, left there. We are powering up and it's very quiet. I think we can get enough power here to drag forward and turn around and get to the runway. So for a collider, I'm very impressed. Okay, try not to hit the uh, airport personnel there. So we lean over to the left there and we can actually get the wings off the ground. And kind of almost like a balancing trick. Doesn't want to fall down too much, which is good. But if I let it go too far, it will fall. I'll do what we do on most of my reviews and 
uh, flights is not announce our takeoff. And hear the wind beeping things. So trying to hit that light marker there as well. And we'll give this a quick taxi and take off. It's a li little unstable as I'm on the one wheel trying to balance it. And we are up. Gear down. Okay, I can pop my gear up. You will see that the gear underneath my uh, seating area is up. And 98% fuel. So we, we've got enough for a decent climb, by the looks of it. I'm hoping with the introduction of gliders officially, that uh, wind and um, updrafts and the likes are going to be modelled well for proper glider flight for those who want to do it. Uh, this is a good one to start off with. Now I'm not uh, overly um, experienced in gliders to know uh, what the beeping is and to uh, recognize the uh, wind. But we're on a fairly calm day. Now I am recording this on a Saturday. Uh, I am at Sydney Airport. If I turn on my traffic, yeah we do have a few other people around here. But actually had everybody turned off at the moment. This is live weather. So this is a Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock on the um, beginning of June. Live weather. Uh, there's a few clouds over the mountains there to our west. Uh, doesn't seem like there's much of a weather system happening here. Now we could head south along the coastline. Or we could head north. I think we'll head north. Okay, speed. What we'll do is we'll pop a few flaps up, and I am going to probably. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll make it all the way around Sydney and back into land because this is a fairly slow flight. But what I will do is turn off the engine. run it right down to zero. We'll do that now. What are we at? Three and a half thousand. Definitely not enough. But we'll see what it's like here. Bit of peace. And quite a nice view. I think this would be great in VR, especially if you know what you're doing <laughs> when it comes to a glider. I don't. I didn't check to see if the uh, windows actually open up as well. I'm not going to turn the ballast back and forth or anything, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so engine is still out. I wonder if. Now, I may need to trim this. All right, the trim screen changed from the compass automatically while I try and get that. Yep, okay, so can we retract? Yes, we can. Wow, very well modeled. Okay, so that closes up and we now have our solar panels sealed there. Very cool, so I should be able to turn off the engine. Yes, I can and use that later if I need it. I'm impressed. So the gauges that you can see are LCD screens. So when I move my trim, you see that the uh, trim gauge changes from uh, compass to show trim and back to compass. I'm impressed guys. I'm very impressed. So we can move the... Oh look at that, yep. We have the navy off to our uh, right. That is a mod. 
Uh, that's not actually where you will often see aircraft carriers, although it looks like we've got a cruise ship also making its way through there, that large white one. Um, I've lost 400 feet, but that might have been while I was mucking around with the trim. Let's take it back over and see if we can land. So we're doing 90 knots. It's going to be a fairly slow flight if I take it all the way in there. But, do you know, quite graceful. Uh, I'm, I'm suitably impressed. Let's see if we can get our camera. That's, that's hands off control. Let's see if we can get our camera out and about and see what it's like. Wow, well, look at that. Put my controls down and. Alright, well I'm not going to go and land because that's going to take another 10 minutes to get back while gliding. Um, I'm very impressed. Link will be in the description. Uh, this is the, I think it's called the AS33ME. Uh, you know what, I will click on it and just see uh, some more details. Okay, I'm not watching where I'm going, am I? By MA Dolo Simulations and B21. Uh, it says it's from, and I'm using using a version 0 0.8, so I guess they're still developing it. Uh, propeller tends to windmill after you turn off the engine. Actually, I didn't find that, so thanks guys, it actually works well. Uh, even when it's retracted in the fuselage, they said no, depending on the airspeed. Haven't seen it popping out. It's been great at the moment, so... Well, it helps to actually click on the screen, doesn't it? If we want to hop back in. It's very nice. And I love how you got the uh, animation of the guy. Although the stick moves, but his hands are not connected. That, though, is an Asobo thing. Uh, the Asobo uh, pilots also don't touch. Right. I don't know if there's a way of centering the uh, compass there or if I clicked off it. But uh, so far, yeah, very impressed. I'll redo my uh, barometer. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you're interested in finding out new aircraft like this. This is actually free. Link will be in the description. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day. I'll go land. Cheers.